Hi Pisces, welcome to Jenny Lynn Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will not resonate with everyone because it is a general reading. So I suggest you check out your other placements, especially your rising sign. So Pisces, if you would like a personal reading, you can check out the description box below. I do tarot, psychic, and medium readings. You can do an individual medium reading, or if you'd like, you can do a group reading with family or friends. I do those readings live. I enjoy them very much, so if you're interested, definitely, definitely check out the description box, and I'd love to meet you in the future in one of those readings. Okay, Pisces, so when I was meditating on your energy, I, first I saw clouds and then asking for whether that was about a relationship or work, I got the page of swords in, they showed me the picture of the page of swords or the page of wands. And I think that there's, you're a little clouded about a decision when it comes to a relationship and or a work situation. So we're gonna see what the cards have to say about that. We're gonna go into your, I'm gonna shuffle a couple more times, into your recent past, your current energies, and the immediate future, and see what we have in store for you for September 2020. Okay, they wanna just cut it in half. So this is for Pisces. Also, while I was pre-shuffling, the Four of Cups in reverse came out. And what that told me was when I was seeing the clouds and the Four of Cups in reverse, before you may not have been seeing things clearly and you couldn't see what was coming towards you or being offered to you. And now I think you're coming to a place where the clouds are going to clear and you're going to know exactly what it is that you need to do. I'm gonna leave that off to the side and we'll lay out your cards. So we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, the Nine of Swords in your current, the Seven of Cups, in reverse, you have the Two of Swords, the Eight of, or not the Eight, I'm sorry, the Death card. I always look at the numbers. Eights are infinity, but that's a good sign because that means you're going through a huge transformation in the near future. Okay, so immediately I see with the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. To me, this is more about a work situation. I think you had a boss at work is what I, I feel with the, the, I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles in reverse. I think you feel like that boss took away your ability to stand in your power at work and it's creating some issues for you. You're questioning whether what you make at this job is worth staying. And I think you're going to come, the clouds are going to clear and you're going to come to a decision that the pay is just not worth it. It's not worth it for you. I'm sorry. So let's get into your current energies. I definitely feel like you've been losing sleep, which is an obvious indicator from the Nine of Swords energy. And then with the Seven of Cups in reverse, you have a definite decision to make. You're at a crossroads. You've been losing sleep over this decision. You don't feel like you have a lot of options but I think you're just not seeing it. And when the clouds do clear, I think you're gonna see exactly what your options are and you're gonna be able to make that decision. 
a much clearer, concise decision. We'll see in a little bit if this is going to pertain to any kind of relationship situation. But right now, I think this is more about work. Yeah, they're definitely giving me that you feel, uh, they're saying powerless in this situation. And I actually don't think that you are. I think with the near future, immediately from the death card, I think you're going through this. I wouldn't say necessarily a spiritual awakening. I'm picking up that you're going through a death and a rebirth when it comes to what it is that's going to fulfill you at work. I feel like no doubt it, it, this could, the, the two of pentacles could be several different things. They're giving me a, a couple different messages at one time. And this could be that you felt like you had to juggle work and family life and it wasn't as balanced as you would like it to be. And you'd like with the page of pentacles to take a look into the future and see if there's something that might be a, not only a better paying job, but something that's not going to feel like this. I, they want me to say that the death card is less about a transformation and more about how you feel about this job. It's almost like, oh, it, this job is going to be the death of me. Is what I feel like. I can't juggle this anymore. I don't feel empowered. It's draining me of energy. And I want a new beginning where I feel like I have the freedom to balance out my life, family life, work life. Maybe even spending more time with family and friends because you feel like this job has taken so much away from you that you haven't had the ability to enjoy your free time, that you feel like you're kind of stuck, like it's literally killing you. It's taking all your energy. And I think you're gonna decide that it needs to die off and you need a new beginning that's gonna be more balanced for you. So let's clarify the King of Swords in reverse. If this is in a love situation, I'm going to look at this from a, a we're going to go vertical instead of horizontal. I think this relationship is going through a transformation. You're tired of losing sleep over something that isn't bringing you any more passion. It's like it's died in the relationship and you want something that's fulfilling and or your relationship currently that you've been losing sleep over, whether you're deciding you don't want to be in this relationship or not, it was just too much for you to bear. I think I skipped over a thought there. You want to find passion again, or it's going to reignite. It's going to go through the death and rebirth process. You're not going to be losing sleep over it anymore because you're going to turn things around. You're going to try to find your passion again in the relationship so that you can make it work. I'm going to go down. They're telling me to go down vertically again. So with the Knight of Pentacles this in reverse, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Page of Pentacles, I feel like if this relationship made you feel like it, it couldn't move forward into something more positive and you were in the maybe possibly thinking about options those are no longer there for you you really want to put in effort for a new beginning to rekindle this relationship that's the energy I'm picking up I don't read the cards necessarily I, I read the energies and then with the nine of pentacles in reverse the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, I definitely, again, feel like you have a decision to make and you've been juggling that decision, whether to stay in this job 
end or this relationship. Maybe there's been some financial strain in the relationship and you just need to make a decision so that there isn't like uh, taking from, what do they call it? Um, stealing from Peter to pay Paul and moving towards something that that wouldn't be the situation. Maybe there was lots of arguments in this relationship recently about money and you don't want to do that anymore and you want to find a resolution to that problem. Okay, so we're going to use the Gilded Tarot and clarify the recent past and see if we can get a little bit more information about this job and if you're going to, let's ask if you're going to make a decision, a, sh a clear decision and what that might be in the future for you. Yeah, I definitely see you coming out of the clouds and it just isn't there yet. It isn't there yet. You haven't gotten the answers that you've been looking for just yet, but I definitely think it's coming. Okay, there was one left behind. So let's see, the Two of Cups. Yeah, this it was definitely not a fulfilling relationship. And I mean that in both sense. So this wasn't a fulfilling relationship at work with people that you worked with, your boss, or in this relationship that you're currently in, or might have been in the recent past. Let's see what else we have. So we have the Seven of Cups, and there's your decisions and the Five of Wands. So I think you want to make sure that you're going to make the right decision in the future so that you can find that balance in a relationship. And I think you're willing to work for it. You're willing to fight to make the relationship work. But with a work situation, I don't think you want the, the problems that this brought about. And maybe they had other options. Maybe they something had come up that they were possibly going to replace you or you had heard something about the fact that they were going to replace you and you feel like you have busted your, you know what, for these people and maybe it's just not being appreciated and you're finding that it's not giving you the ability to, to feel free in your free time and you want to move away from that and come out of that imbalance and find something that's going to fulfill you that way. All right, let's see why in your current energy you've been losing sleep over this relationship and what decision it is. So this is for Pisces. Is Pisces gonna stop losing sleep over this situation? Let's see what the outcome is gonna be. We'll ask for the work outcome and then we'll ask for the outcome for the relationship. Okay. So this is for Pisces for September, 2020. So we have the death card again, definitely transformation and the page of cups, new beginnings. Okay. I definitely feel like with the page of cups, you you almost feel as though there's kind of an immature energy about this page of cups he wants to feel more youthful and alive in both relationships and in work and i think with the death you're just both tired of being worked to death or maybe there's been a lot of fights at home and you can't take that anymore and you want to get away from that and transform the relationship back into something that's going to be a little bit more lighthearted. It's like, let's stop where we are. Sorry, I dropped a card. And look at this from a more youthful perspective. Maybe you want to take some time to do things together that remind you more of what you were like in the beginning of your relationship. 
I definitely feel that. Okay, and let's get a couple cards for the outcome in the future. Let's see if you're gonna take that step forward and transform into this new position or reform this relationship. Okay, so again, I believe we had the page of ones before, or did we not? We have several pages here. And the queen of swords. So the page of wands and the queen of swords. Yet, there's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel. I, I'm more focused on what's at the end of the wand, which is seeing the light trusting your choices and the decision, sorry, the decisions that you need to make about this job. I feel like with the Queen of Swords, this may be how your partner is coming across to you. Right now, it's been a bit of strife. They have not felt like they could really voice how they felt about it because they didn't want you to make a decision based on how they were feeling. They wanted you to make the decision for yourself. And I definitely think you're going to. I think all in all, you're gonna come out of the clouds. You're gonna make a, a good decision. You're gonna stop losing sleep. You're gonna go through this sort of death and rebirth process and find yourself again and find your happiness again. No doubt about it. Okay, let's get a couple of the Romance Angels and see if there's anything for love outside of this relationship. Maybe there's another message for others that could be singles or someone who's currently possibly dating someone. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. This is what I was talking about. You definitely need to put the fire back in the relationship. So if you're currently in a relationship, definitely give it a chance. If you feel like it's the right move, which I, I feel like it is for you. I feel like this is something that you've been in for quite some time. If this is a new relationship for you, Pisces, I want to say that you need to give it some time. Definitely give it some time. I feel like it might be the right one for you. Give it a chance. You're definitely going to trust. They're saying your, your heart. So trust your heart. What you feel from your heart. Don't use your mind in this situation. Use your heart. And the other card is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I think the red flags are coming in to tell you like where you're not happy. So you're getting the signs at work that you're not happy anymore. And the situation just isn't, I feel like you feel the push from the universe to sort of move forward and get out of that situation because it's causing some imbalance at home and maybe in your other relationships and things like that. And definitely if you are in a new situation, just pay attention, pay attention to if there are any red flags, I'd say use your best judgment. I don't think you have anything too concerning coming up. I'm not getting any indication that there's a problem. But if it's something that bothers you, I think you just need to know when to speak on it. Even in a new relationship, it's important to let someone know exactly how you feel if you feel that there's a red flag that's come up, just to clarify the situation. Okay. So let's get you a card from the Health and Law of Attraction. This is for Pisces for September 2020. Okay, Pisces, September 2020. A doctor who offers hope can be of much value. When medicine and science stop looking for cures and begin to look for vibrational causes or imbalances, they will see a much higher rate of recovery. 
If a doctor does not believe that you can recover from your illness, your association with that doctor is extremely detrimental. For there is much evidence to show that people can recover from supposedly incurable diseases. There are only two factors that have anything to do with your recovery. Your desire and your belief and a negative incurable diagnosis is hindering your belief. So uh, this is completely separate from your reading. I think right now, if you're dealing with anything that feels like a result, possibly, I think you need to look at the effects of the job and what kind of a toll it's taken on your body. I definitely don't like to give medical advice, but I am very passionate about different types of natural ways to work through any kind of stress or work through any ailments or any kind of anything that's going on with your body. If you take time to meditate, maybe you need to learn some of that or download some meditations, listen to those when you're driving to work or when you have a few minutes by yourself, take the time to do that. Um, I just feel like they're sort of leaning you away from medicine to deal with any of the stress or complicated uh, emotional things that you might be experiencing right now. Okay, Pisces, let's get your Wisdom of Oracle card and we'll close it out with this. This is for Pisces. for September 2020. Okay, Pisces. Oh, that one came out. We're going to take that one. Okay, Pisces. Never ending story, 37. Yeah. If you look at this card, not only does it reduce to a 10, which is definitely endings. I can see where this is saying it's like a never ending cycle. Like you just feel like you can't get off. They're telling me the hamster wheel of this situation and you wanna turn it around. Tens are endings so that you can have new beginnings. Okay, so let's get the meaning for 37. In the book, again, Pisces, if you'd like to book a personal reading, I would love to connect with you. You can look in the description box below and if any of this resonated with you, I'd really love it if you would like, share, or subscribe. And definitely leave me a comment and let me know how you're doing. Um, if any of this makes sense to you, that would be great. It's nice to know if I'm connecting with your energy. And please do watch possibly more often because the more often I have people that watch, I'm going to connect better with your energy. So that's just a little side note. Okay, so never-ending story. Essential meanings, self-criticism. We did get 37, right? Yeah. Self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. There is a story woven through the imperfect fabric of life that tells hurt and loss, rejection and humiliation, self-loathing and arrogance, and all manner of suffering born from unnecessary dramas. It is the old story whose refrain is that you cannot do this, must not go there, should not say that, lest your world come crumbling down. Today, know that none of this is actually true. The sky is not falling. The voice you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie, wants to protect you, and needs to be seen as a victim. Love that lost, love that lost piece of you. Oh, okay, love that lost piece of you. Fear is all it knows. Distorted guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself. You are not your story. And the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part. Small and vulnerable and easily soothed. Definitely. I think there might be some conditioning from childhood that you might be releasing around work, family, and what you're supposed to be doing instead of paying attention to what it is that you truly want from your life and in your relationships. And I 
I, I can definitely see that you're going to be moving towards making decisions that are going to be more balanced for you so that you feel like you have the ability to not only enjoy work, but also balance that out with your family and friends. So thank you, Pisces, for watching till the end. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in your next video. Lots of love.